in the car. And well, we can finally say it. The NBA regular season is about to get underway. And here at 2K Sports, we couldn't be happier. And on tap tonight, it's the Golden State Warriors going up against the Houston Rockets here in Toyota Center. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and we'll have David Aldridge filling us in from the sideline. Yeah, I did. I mean, the butterflies are there, and it's a good thing. The key for me was to breathe deeply, get that first sweat going, and then everything settled down from there. But for that, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Vladimir Rodmanovich's size clearly a factor on the board, helping him get that second chance opportunity. To the middle. And Kevin Martin, the bucket on the assist by Lowry. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Wright. Some nice passing by Golden State. Outside for Curry. Shot clock at six. Golden State needs to get off a shot. And it's right missing. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Outside, Scola. The pass to Batty. Kick by Yao. Batty outside. Right against Scola. From down in the low post, it goes. Warriors have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Ellis surveying the D. Martin with the block. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes point. Yep, that one goes in there. Martin's got his second bucket. And I love the confidence of Martin in his mechanics, able to quickly get that shot off. And stolen by Yao. Pass to Battier. That one's in his first shot this game. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Lowry against Curry. Pass to Carney. Outside for Curry. Rocket six. Right with a screen on Lowry. On its way from Curry for two. Another miss, and they've really hit a rough patch here. You know, right now they're just one for five. Rough start so far. Curry with the steal, and Curry with the clear path to the hoop. Plays it in off the breakaway. And Curry making his presence felt on D with the steal leading to the break. He finds ways to impact games with far more than just his shooting. Now, here's Lowry. Out to the right wing. Scola inside. Right's there. Six to shoot. Outside, Martin. Count it. And it's six points for Kevin Martin. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Curry finds right. On the wing, Ellis. Passes it to Rodmanovich. Outside Curry. From the high post, he drills it. Off a pass, Steph Curry. That one is always going in, or almost always going in. Lowry feeling it out a bit. Vanier left side. Yeah, it's good on the putback. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here.
for the Rockets. Jared Jeffries, he's checked in for Batty. Taylor comes in for Kevin Martin. And it's Brooks in for Kyle Lowry. Then for the Warriors, Turner's checked in for Wright. Bell comes in for Rodney Carney. And it's Jeremy Lin in for Curry. Warriors trail by six. Now the pass to Bell. Lynn kicks to Bell. Some nice passing by Golden State. Ellis against Taylor. Shots good by Ellis. Nice handles for Ellis. I mean, he really knows how to get defenders off balance with this clever ball handle. Outside, Taylor. Brooks outside. There's 39 seconds left to play here in the first. Here's Yao. And it's Radmanovic with the rebound. The Warriors have gone 50% from the field to this point. Four of eight. Then the pass to Turner. Pulls up on the wing. Ellis can't get it to go. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. And it's Brooks in the corner. Pass to Yao. Over Rodmanovic. Second shot opportunity. And it's Yao getting it to go down. Yao's got his second basket of the game. And Ming is, is mammoth in terms of his size. Exceptional at using it to snare those offensive rebounds. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Houston on top. They're up by three. It's the NBA on Toyota Center. If you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And to look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Rockets. Everything working for them inside so far, guys. Tons of high-quality shots that they're knocking down inside. And another thing Coach will be thrilled with, the assist numbers. Spreading the wealth and creating some offensive opportunities. And it's Martin missing. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Here's Curry. And it's Hayes with the rebound. Houston leading by three. And here's Brooks from outside. Misses that one. He's 0 for 1 from the floor. So it's the Warriors now. Lynn with it. Still yet to score. Lays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that, Lynn's got the opening field goal of the second quarter for the Warriors. Brooks kicks to Hayes. Miller sets a screen for Hayes. The feed to Miller. The short one's on the money. And the NBA hosting games overseas as far back, Clark, is, is 1978. Always an exhibition contest, but do you think we will see a regular season game played abroad? That's what I'm hearing, and it could be as soon as next season, Kevin. The game is global, and we know the league is desiring to get games played elsewhere outside of the United States. It certainly adds to the excitement and drama of the league, so I think it happens. Nice shot by Lynn. Not a bunch of energy from the defense, which is why he was free to knock that down. Kevin Martin on the way. He drops it in from the low post. Martin's got eight points. Oh, how about that crafty move by Martin inside and gets a high percentage look. Outside Turner. Dishes at the bell. Outside Lynn. Shot clock at five. To the paint. Drops in the layup for two. Chamberlain got it all tied up now for the Warriors. And Lynn involving his pick and roll game, improving how he passes the ball when the defense gives him a lane. Brooks kicks to Jeffries. 
Pass to Hayes. It's Martin on the wing. Sweet little floater. Martin's got four points in the quarter. Guys, I'll tell you what, feels like everything is coming easy to him. Just taking what he sees and capitalizing. Timeout called the Warriors. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Houston. Substitution here. Yao checked in for Miller. Stola comes in for Hayes. Shane Battier is checked in for Jared Jeffries. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Kevin Martin. outside passes to Humphreys right outside six on the shot clock a miss that time would have put him up boy I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go usually he's money from deep now here's Lowry defense right on him that one no good the Warriors trailing Admonovich dishes to Humphreys. Adier with the steal. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. And there's the pass to Yao. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Yao's got six. There are big men. And then there's Yao Ming. Wow. 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 Humphreys kicks to right. At the teardrop, it's rebounded by Houston. Well, they've got the Lakers ahead of them after this game. In the next game, it'll be played in Los Angeles. That'll be the first half of a two-game trip. Lowry can't get it to go. Boy, he has to put that one away. A solid opportunity. Gone awry. Always finds right. Ellis, the pass to right. Here is Carney. Golden State moving the ball around. From T. Dallas. And again, it's the Warriors missing. And not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. Brooks outside. It's back to Battier. Outside, Scola. Kicks to Brooks. Houston needs to get a shot. Three-pointer, Lowry, and the three ball is good. Lowry's got the lead up to seven now for the Rockets. Can't let Lowry get comfortable from beyond the arc because he's more than capable of hurting you from there. And so that's the end of the first half. Rockets lead by seven. Time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. For those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. Really an incredible game from Kevin Martin. 
No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for the Houston Rockets. Seven-point game, the biggest lead in the game. Pass to Scola. And here's Martin. Six to shoot. Fades and shoots. And it's Radmanovic with the rebound. Radmanovic has got four rebounds now tonight. He kicks it to Ellis. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. And let's take a look now at some stats for Ellis. He's coming off an excellent season. And of course, he was among the best in the league when it came to putting the ball in the basket. Top ten in scoring. And looking back at his number two steal rate, yeah, he, he did gamble a little bit. You're right. But he also played some hard-nosed on-ball defense. And that was key. Battier writes up. Rodney Carter. Second personal foul. First team foul. Yao. Six points for him. Just waiting for a chance to make a play, and when the pass was made, he's all over it. Just a fantastic steal. Delicious dime from Curry there. One of the reasons his teammates love playing with him. Houston leading by five. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Lowry passes to Yao. Feeds it to Martin. And Yao gets it to go on the assist by Martin. And it's eight points for Yao. A nice combo guard who sees the floor well. Martin really an asset to this team. Ellis outside. Curry kicks to Carney. Cans it from downtown. Carney's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And the playmaking ability, Curry... Good at looking out for his guys and getting them the ball. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. With a pause in the action, let's show you the teams that were best from the line last season. Number five, the Warriors. Collectively, I mean, they had an amazing year at the free throw line. Sometimes free throw shooting can be contagious. And it seemed like everyone on their team had the hot hand. Left side, Lowry. Outside for Martin. Right against Skoll. Shot clock at six. Rebounded by Carney. Warriors trail by four. Curry looking it over. Ellis outside. Right outside. 
Here's Curry with the three, and another three for Golden State. On a nice little roll here to start this half, connecting on their first three attempts. Outside Scola, he dishes it to Battier. Shoots the three, buries the long-range jumper. Battier's got his second basket of the night. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Curry with a wide open look. Good, and the assist goes to Ellis. Curry's got six in the quarter. Well, that's a really solid decision by Ellis to throw the ball over to the open teammate, showing off his unselfishness there. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Lowry against Curry. Lowry can't get it to go. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Warrior. Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. Boy, great speed on display there by Ellis. 143 left in the third quarter. It's Martin on the wing. He's guarded by Ellis. Fades away. Here's Yao over Rodman. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First and Yao is Second clever with five. that bump fade, going right into the contact once he gets the D in the air. The Rockets shooting their first foul shots of the night here. And the first one drops. And, and, you know, he's such a huge figure from a cultural standpoint. Yao is also someone teammates love playing with because of that easygoing personality. Brooks checked in for the Rockets. Charlie Bell's checked in for the Warriors. Jeremy Lin comes in for Curry. And so he hits both. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Lynn the pass to Carney. Now the dish to right. Driving to the basket. This is his first trip to the line tonight. At the line for the Warriors. The well right. Taking two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Hayes, he's checked in for Yao. And so Wright kneels both of them. There's 117 left here in the third quarter. Lowry kicks to Brooks. Pass to Scola. Over right. Another miss by Houston. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Yeah, tit for tat on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. In the pass to Carney. The kick out to Wright. Pocket six. Connects from three-point range. Three points. Wright's got the lead up to four now for the Warriors. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. Here's Scola. Up and in on the layup. Scola's got his second bucket of the night. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Outside, Lynn passes it to Ellis. Kicks it to Carney. Wright sets a screen. 
The one shot in the way. Count the basket and the foul. They get Luis Scola. And even stronger in the second half. Tremendous efficiency at the offensive end of the floor. Yeah, they're in a nice zone right now. And that basket looks, you know, it can handle two balls at once. It looks like now it could probably, for them, handle three or four balls at once as well as they're shooting it. against Lynn. Martin inside. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Martin's got 12 points in the game. Well, Martin knows this is what the team is counting on for him. Finding good looks. Three quarters of play in a close game here. The Warriors on top, leading by three. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter next. This fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Warriors leading by three. Outside, Lynn. Walker a screen on Martin. Lynn the pass to Walker. Tries again. It's rebounded by Hayes. And for Houston, their shooting has been fun to watch in this game. They're at 57%. Here is Jeffries. Outside for Martin. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. Oh, good balance from Martin. He's such an elusive cover for the defense. Curry passes to Bell. This is to Walker. Walker with his screen for Lynn. In the corner, Bell with it. Turner up top. Outside Curry. Down to five on the shot clock. From deep three-point land. Walker the pass to win. Now here is Bell. For the three. It's rebounded by Hayes. Here is Jeffries. Outside Martin. to take the lead and trying for the go-ahead basket it doesn't go in Brooks against Curry Curry showing toughness inside yeah the first half was one to deep six or forget but in the second half he's looked a lot better now a timeout called by Houston
Boston with a big group substitution here. Yao, he's checked in for Miller. Scola comes in for Chuck Hayes. Shane Battier is checked in for Jared Jeffries. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Brooks. Different look here for the Warriors. Rodmanovic is checked in for Walker. Wright comes in for Turner. Rodney Carney's checked in for Charlie Bell. And it's Ellis in for Jeremy Lin. For the short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. During that last break, I heard what Rick Adelman was telling his team. He told us, guys, I need you all to come together right now on both ends. This game is not over. You need to go out there and take control now. See how it looks coming out of the timeout, guys. Thank you, David. First team foul. the Rockets with the ball. And here is Scola. Just five to shoot. Here's Yao. Plays it up and in off the pretty assist. And that's 12 points for Yao. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't have them. Ellis kicks to Rodmanovic. A shot off that time. Rockets have gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Now here is Lowry. Outside Martin to take the lead. Rebounded by Carney. Warriors have gone just one or six in the field to start the fourth quarter. A bit of a slowdown for them right now. Here's Ellis. Gets the bucket and the foul. Kyle Lowry gets one up there. Ellis demanding the ball in a big moment and just doing his thing out there. Looks comfortable the tighter the game is. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Warriors. I mean, they've been stepping it up in terms of their shooting from distance, and the confidence has been there all game long, leaving the defense to scramble. And they've also been ferocious inside, really taking advantage in the painted area and making good on those chances. And he doesn't let the pressure get to him. Cool and confident from the line. It's trailed by four. Scola, a screen on Kirk. Daddy outside. No good on the triple. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. Ellis against Martin. Carney the pass to Ellis. Let's it go with the three. And the rebound goes to Martin. Houston's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. against Curry. Matty outside. Back to Lowry. A three. Got it! And that shot brings them to within just one. Boy, right now, they're just getting a fantastic effort from Kyle Lowry. Lowry against Curry. The pass to Carney. Back to Curry. Here's the three. Rebounded by Battier. Now the Rockets with it. Martin with it. Picked up by Ellis. Martin's in the post. Ellis on him. You know, one of the basic fundamentals in basketball is the ability to box out. He's got that down pat. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Said that's right. No other option but to foul and look for some misses. Yeah, they have to extend the game. I mean, plain and simple. Use every second you can on the clock here. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. And, and 
Thomas is a confident player down the stretch. He embraces the responsibility of coming up big. That's good. Going one of two from the line, and that will put them up by two. Timeout called. The Rockets. They're down by two. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? Big chance here to tie it with a bucket. A critical possession, no doubt. We'll see what they draw up. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Martin against Ellis. Martin, the pass to Lowry. Here's Yao. It falls! And tie game. That is a huge basket right there. And again, it's Yao Ming. I mean, we always talk his size, and that does help. But Yao also has terrific touch. And Keith Smart wants a timeout. down low stolen by Mark and that's going to do it for regulation so we are headed to overtime we'll be back shortly live from Houston Texas
now we get set for overtime in what has been a stirring contest. Lowry with the ball. Pass to Yao. He kicks it to Battier. Left side, Martin. Eight for 15 with that made basket, but he's not satisfied yet. Really good, unselfish pass by Battier. He knew that was the better shot for his teammate. Martin against Ellis. It's to Curry. Here is Carney. And again. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup. So I'd agree with you there. Rodney Carney. Two shots. Shoot two. First free throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. And it's Lowry with the ball, brings it up for Houston. Patty outside. Carries it from three point range. And this is why Battier is out there. He's terrific at coming up so big for his team. Ellis outside. Good on the shot. I tell you what, Ellis really, really dangerous with that flaw. Giving the D no way to react in time to hit his soft touch. Eddie outside. Now Martin. Six on the shot clock. Buries it down low. And the Rockets lead by three. And with great positional size, Martin with the ability to close in and finish like he did there. Passes it to Carney. Nailed from three-point land. Carney's got the game tied up here for the Warriors. For Houston, they've gotten all three of their shots to drop so far in overtime. Martin against Ellis. Outside Lowry. Kicks it to Scola. It's good! Well, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game? Yes. Here's Ellis. Oh, this is the impact Ming makes defensively using that huge reach to block or alter shots. Curry outside. It's money from deep. I tell you what, Steph Curry, somebody lit a fire under him. Timeout call the Rockets. They trail by one. There's 37 seconds left to play in OT, and this battle continuing. Guys, your thoughts? And usually you want to go for the two for one here to maximize the clock.
the inbound. Here's Yao. Money! When you need points, Yao is a great option. He just goes on the attack. Timeout called the Warriors. They're behind by one. 34 seconds left to play in the first overtime. Right with a screen on low. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. You know, guys, sometimes that just happens, but you don't like to see it when the game is this close. This is a huge possession. And this is where all the hard work pays off. You have to be able to execute under pressure. And that's an intentional foul. So the first one drops, and that will put them up by two. Oh, knocked down from the line. A spot on the floor. Martin has become real comfortable. And so both free throws are good, and it's a three-point game. Absolutely massive free throw. That'll force them into a three-point attack. Now a timeout called by Golden State. They're trailing by three. 27 seconds left in the first overtime. Action has been terrific.
Lowry against Curry. Right outside. Ellis against Martin. Ellis can't get it to go. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. Third personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for two. Luis Scola. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. He's able to hit the second one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And the pass to Carney. And again, no good by Golden State. And so it's a narrow victory for Houston, pulling it out for the double. And they had some nervous moments down the stretch, but things finally came together for him in overtime. Yeah, probably didn't anticipate that this one would be that close down the wire. But give them credit, they were able to regroup in that overtime, and, and this win has to feel satisfying. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. See you later.